Park, the beat class, the Red Legs versus the Eagles. Galt against Collar Sandy at the centre bounce. Collar Sandy gets the first touch of the game, a chance now for Thomas to put the legs into attack up towards full forward. Adler in front. Cousins in, gets a bad bounce. Quickly in now, Turbul running the ground from behind. And the Norwood Rover will get a set shot at goal from 35 metres out, almost in front, and a great start for Norwood. Yeah, good start, Ian, and uh, Collar Sandy got the first tap. He's a big man with a big body, and he's been very, very good for Norwood in the past couple of months. Norwood has won the toss, kicking with just an ever so slight breeze. Turbul towards the golf course end, and he's put it through. and uh, that man Turbull trouble with injury for most of his career and uh, I saw the way he warmed up earlier there's Neil Baum and David Bertelsmeyer having a chat they'd be pretty happy about that but Turbull looks pretty fit a big cloud over him during the week but uh, he started well he's kicked the goal and that's what he likes doing kicking goals good start Norwood they lead one goal Torrens get to open their account only one minute into the first quarter the bounce down gold up high the tap coming out to Turbull again once again ridden into the ground Greg Turbill opening this game sensationally for the Red Legs, wins another free kick in the middle of the ground. Norwood and Torrens, the elimination final football park, a big crowd here in the vicinity of 20,000. As Greg Turbill, fine conditions, kick into the attack towards centre half forward, up high of the pack, ball to ground. Michael Taylor, the long hand ball to Gallagher. Gallagher in towards full forward, Adler Cox, ball to ground, overrun by Menzel. Cousin pushed off the ball. Peter Cousins wins the free kick for West Torrens at centre half back. Strong defender, Peter Cousins. Will boot the Eagles out of defence, go short to Robson at the true centre half back position. Lee Robson with the kick now towards the centre wing position. Ingus coming down from the ground, but it's Norwood in front. Bruce Winter, the former Sturt player, strong overhead mark. Winter goes short. Gallagher also there, but West Torrens chipping in was Hill. This is indicative enough, I think, to suggest they're going to play good football. And doesn't Dunstan know he's done wrong? He's right across the other side of the ground and the runner had to make a good 100 metres to give him the message. Nicholson in the back pocket, short to Gallagher. Plays on quickly, centre wing, Armour getting underneath the ball. Drops the mark, McSporran, Armour at centre wing. Thomas, the running player is Turbul, taken out of it once more when he hasn't got it. Three free kicks minutes of the game plus a 15 metre penalty. Greg Turbill right in the action. Situation fairly tense at the moment. Adler gives the lead but he aborts. Kick in long towards Dowart and also win in the goal square. Turbill's kick is to the lead now of Woodcock. He won't get there and getting underneath the ball is Filippo. Filippo passes to McSporran who's coming to the back lines to win the ball. He's taken the mark on the half back flank. Had a wonderful year for the Eagles and one of the favourites for the McGarry medal. Primer at centre-half back, gets the lead across the outer side. Curly Mano at centre-half back, hooks the ball to the half-forward line. Leading out there is Hannah, with him is Nicholson. But the free kick is going the way of Ian Hannah. He's at centre wing. Doesn't bother about Mano, goes long in towards full forward. English lumbers towards the ball. With him there is Johnson. Stasinowski seeks the safety of the line. And the ball will be put back into play about 40 metres around from the Torrens goal. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty hard affair here today. Neither side uh, wants to lose. Of course, it's curtains if you lose this one. The throw in on the half forward line for West Torrens. Menzel coming away with the ball to Taylor. Taylor to the centre wing. Ace out there up high West Torrens. Ball to ground. Goal in there for West Torrens. Four players going in hard. The free kick will go to West Torrens. Robson on the half back line. Lee Robson with the kick towards the half forward line. Inglis, also Collar Sandy. Inglis the mark on the half forward line. Plenty of body weight being used as Dunson and a couple of West Torrens players in had to have a scuffle behind play. Back to the play now and going across the ground. There, Primer takes the mark just the, on the forward side of centre. Primer, the West Torrens player. Favours the screw pun. It's a lovely kick into the teeth of goals. Collar Sandy, Stasinowski! Magnificent mark at the second grab. Stazza from behind with a fine mark. Here's the replay. This is, could be Stazza's last season, but uh, he's still a great fullback. What a great mark. Bruce Winter taking the kick in. Goes short for Dunstan in the back pocket. 
sends the ball out along the outer side. Robson up, can't bring it down. Jenkins in at the bottom of the pack. Coming out with it, Taylor. Menzel under pressure, gives the long handball now. Here's a chance for the running. Gallagher pushes out a pass to the lead now of Adler. Can't get to it. Woodcock crashes the tackle, puts it along one awards full forward. The umpire says it's going offline, and in actual fact, it hit the post. Woodcock, a danger man on that left leg. It looked to be good, but just faded away at the last moment and recorded one point. Roger Woodcock kicks a lot of goals from that angle, and uh, there was some great body work by Johnny Wynn back in the centre of the ground that got it out, and uh, he'll certainly make his presence felt today. Cox, the kick-off to the outer side ground. Robson and Wynn, ball to ground. Gallagher, who's had a fine opening in this first quarter. Back to Jenkins, unloaded by Mano. Ace in there for Norwood. Body's going in hard. Scrum developing, players unable to get the ball out, and finally the ball out of bounds on the half-forward line for the Norwood side. Norwood 1-1, lead West Torrens two points, seven and a half minutes into the first quarter. Galt with a thump to McSparren, he's unloaded by a win, play called on as ace, with a hurry kick up towards full forward, Adler coming out, as Pimmel loses control, Adler with a short pass is not a good one, and Peter Cousins intercepts, plays on quickly. Comes across to the, to the grandstand side. Enright, who's made two mad mistakes in this first quarter. The handball out to Jackman, but a free kick is going towards Peter Cousins, the half-back uh, flanker for the Eagles. Peter Cousins plays on quickly to Filippo. He, in turn, along the grandstand side. One bounce, steadies towards the half-forward line. Inglis, Teal, up high of the ball to ground. Pushed out. Players falling over the ball, and umpire Des Foster... The man in charge today, along with Bobby Schofield, calls for a bounce down on the half-forward line for West Torrens. Norwood 1-1, lead Torrens two points. Nine minutes into the first quarter. Collar Sandy tries to get the thump. Marriott, supported by McSporran. McSporran kicks in long towards full forward. Johnson and Stasinowski to the rescue of the legs is Taylor. Jenkins, time to bound out of defence, has three bounces down the outer side. Now pushes out the pass to Gallagher, he's well clear. Got a paddock to work in. 30 metres clear now of Hewitt. Kicks around the corner, looking for ace too far. Dalwood can't make the scene. Cleverly Grambo, back to goal. Beautifully tackled by ace. A chance now for win. Slow to get rid of the ball. Gets out the pass, but it's Cox. Uh, Cox that reads the play well and takes the mark in defence. The worried face of coach Neil Baum watches as Cox clears to the outer side. Jenkins in. And uh, Taylor there as well, and the free kick will go to the Norwood captain, Michael Taylor. Thought about Gallagher on the outer side, but he's going more direct. Over the top of the head of Adler, in towards Doward. The back is Turbul. Doward with the ball, needs support. Quickly coming in now, a chance for Menzel. Point blank range, offline, and one point only to the legs. They lead now 1-2 to Torrens, two points. Yeah, Menzel kicked four last week, could manage only a point on that occasion, but he's lively around the forward area. I think Torrance is going to have a lot of trouble with Gallagher unless they do something. I see Hewitt's on him at the moment. Bruce Lindsay, to me, doesn't look too fit. Cox with the kick off the lead from Gold. Up high, can't complete the mark. Supported by Bobby Enright to the half-back line. Marriott, Thomas, the free kick to Craig Marriott, being held without possession. On the defensive side of centre, goes short, Primer. Plays on quickly. The handball was not a good one. However, finds Hewitt. He's in more strife than Speed Gordon. Well supported by Craig Marriott again. Time to steady to the half forward line. The kick's not a good one, however. And Bruce Winter in defence for the Norwood side on the half back line. Winter, his early season form wasn't good. Has started the game pretty well today. Goes to the centre of the ground. The lead on from Woodcock. Should have taken the mark, dropped it. However, wins the free kick. Oh, very lucky, Ken. He uh, didn't seem to want the ball too much at all. He uh, put his hands up but didn't want to grab it. Woodcock short. The lead from the centre half back, Jimmy Till. In turn to Gallagher. He's been everywhere in this opening moment of the first quarter. The long kick. Will it go through? I think it has. That's his first. Norwood second. Norwood 2-2. Two -two. Lead West Torrens two points. Magnificent football. Gallagher, that's his fifth kick. And as we called a little while ago, Torrens are going to have to do something about Philip Gallagher. Here's the movement. How often do we see Gallagher go past a player around about centre-half forward? And uh, when Gallagher kicks for goals, it normally brings up six points, as it did then. Norwood 2-2, Torrens 2 points. At the centre bounce, Colosanti and Galt. 
Colasanti in front, Gold over the top, back to Gallagher, thrown out, now to Turbul. In turn, Jim Teal, who's rebounding strongly off the half-back line, looks for Michael Ace, Filippo back in defence for the Eagles. Slips out the handball, Curly Mano. Well balanced as he drives the ball to the half-forward line, Lindsay up high, McSporran dropped it in surprise. Socket back towards Jenkin on the half-forward line, socket away by Gold, and it's marked by Gallagher. Looked as though it could have been kicking to the danger, but Norwood wind up with the ball. Gives a chance now to Michael Taylor. Galt's going to get in there first, back towards Marriott. Galt runs into trouble. Marriott with the ball. But the Torrens Ruckman comes out with a free kick at centre-half back. A good decision too. The umpire on the spot. Galt was, in fact, handled in without the ball. In right. High towards centre wing. Setting himself will be Hannah. Gets up high. One grab in front of Twitter. Try to claim the mark but it was second touch. Nicholson to Menzel at centre wing. Menzel's long kick in towards the lead of Adler. Cox is going to be late on the scene. Gets one hand to it. Doward, Woodcock, running away from goal. Short, 2-8, waits for the bounce. Under pressure, back towards Turbel. Hewitt, Jenkins, Gallagher, chips out the pass. Michael Ace getting back there. Almost takes the mark, has been paid the mark, or maybe the push, but whatever. The Norwood half-forward flanker has got a free kick 45 metres out on a similar angle. Yeah, probably the right decision, but uh, very unlucky Peter Filippo. He made a desperate attempt to get to the ball, and out goes the runner again. Noble's about to come on, and uh, bad luck for Norwood. Stasinowski, who appeared to be injured, coming off. Menzel short. Good pass, Michael Ace. And loose checking by the West Torrens defensive rover enabled Menzel to be 20 metres clear, and he's got a set shot at goal. Menzel missed with a flying shot. Staz is feeling the back. A pat from coach Neil Barm, but the action with Menzel, who battles his first goal. And at the 13 and a half minute mark, Norwood off to a fine start. Three goals to West Torrens, two points. Torrens win the free kick through Douglas Cox, who's showing a fine return back to his brilliant best form today. Some of the dash we saw in the early part of the season, which won him state selection, he is showing here today at Football Park. The kick. To the centre of the ground, Doward, Filippo from behind. That's the set, handball out to Lindsay, it's a shocker however. Michael Taylor pulled off the ball and wins the free kick. Watch this mark of Filippo, it's a beauty. From behind, has the set, does it well. Back live, as Nord going to attack in towards the full forward area. Got from behind, play on is the call, the loose ball to ground. into the post. Grinter, Colasanti, Grinter going through the pack. Also Jimmy Till, the handball out to Gallagher. Here's a chance to the red legs as the ball goes in towards the half forward line. Behind the pack was Grambo, Turbo cleverly to Michael Ace. Doug Cox in opposition. Ace does it beautifully. Pull at the last moment, off the ball, and a minor score prevailed. Norwood advanced to four goals, six, Turon six goals, two. Great play by Michael Ace, Peter. Oh, tremendous, Ken, and uh, what about the defensive work from this man, Doug Cox? Kicking off at the moment, coming towards the grandstand side, it's a boomer again. Jenkins all over the top of Bruce Lindsay, and Lindsay wins the free kick. And a 15-metre penalty kick, and Norwood doing some silly things at the moment. Another one, that's 30 metres. Peter Markey, your comments. Well, a bit silly. Uh, Jenkins is a good player. He's too good to do silly things like that, and uh, Bruce Lindsay... After three week absence, is starting to get on top of Jenkins. Lindsay to the half forward line, the lead on from Primer. Nicholson in there for Norwood. Uses his body well to Menzel. Has the fumbles, recovers, however. Time to steady, one bounce. Goes to the centre of the ground. Woodcock, Cousins, Adler from behind. Recovers, comes across, blocked well. Grinder and Collar Sandy, who's back on the ball, gets the back flip, but will win a free kick in any case. And Big Hugo will put the legs into attack from the centre circle. Colour Sandy kicks long. A towering drop punt. Setting himself, went over the top, almost brings it down. Turbul in the action to Ace. Gives it over to Adler, but it missed him. Turbul on the left foot, 30 metres out. Hooked back towards goal, but is going right across the face. In actual fact, it was Cousins who always, almost took the mark, but couldn't bring it down. A point to Norwood, 4-7, Torren 7-2, 11 scoring shots to 9, and yet the legs trail by 13 points. And John Wynn won't give Cox sufficient room to kick off. Now the 
the position has been rectified and Cox goes to the outer side. Grint will be a leaper. Collis Andy there with him. Mano waits for the ball, does it well. Under pressure. Grinter. Mark Hewitt on the half-back line. Torrance running out of defence. Hooks around the corner to the running Robson. He can't quite get there. Nicholson. Tyler. No blit was on the bottom of the pack. Arms and legs everywhere. The umpire in for the bounce. Norwood four goals, seven. Trailing Torrance seven goals, two. 18 minutes into the second quarter. Umpire Des Foster in charge. The bounce. Colour Sandy. Grinter. Ball to ground. Marriott. Cops run for his trouble, gets it out to Primer. He's laid to rest, Marriott. Mark Hewitt, the long handball out towards Mano. Will it sit for him? Taps it on cleverly. However, Nicholson does it well. Handball's out wide towards Noble. He's unloaded by Mano. He covers in time, however. Handball's towards the safety of the line. And the ball out of bounds on the half-forward line for West Torrens. Almost 19 minutes into the second quarter, the throw-in. Big crowd here at Football Park, the elimination final. Nick Sparron. Back to Minot, who's played effectively on the wing. Here's the player that's played very, very well as Premier in towards full forward. Not a good kick. Noble dropped the mark, but wins the free kick. Or is it David Armour? David Armour, sorry, is the player. Armour to the half-back line, looking out there for Jenkins. Jenkins, the loose player, has one bounce. To the centre wing, Menzel. Enright, and Bobby Enright completes the mark. The back pocket player for West Torrens. Come to the centre of the ground. Inglis, Teal, players using their body. Inglis with a long handball out to Marriott. In turn out there to Bruce Lindsay. Players going in hard. Michael Taylor recovers to Teal. Teal to the centre wing. Has Jenkins loose. Will the ball sit for him? It does. He in turn to the half forward line. Adler, Wynn, Cox. Cox first there playing. Dashley has one back runs round the player, he's a running player, Norwood back into attack using handball to Michael Taylor, the hurried kick, Cox tries to block it, it sits here for win, a tuck, heading into the ground, play on is the call, out wide and a bounce down by Empire Schofield, now Peter Marker, I feel Johnny Wynn should have got the free kick. Collar Sandy gets it back to Gallagher, Norwood badly need him to fire again around the corner, Robson one-handed, over the top, Doward, here's a chance now for Jenkins, or is it Thomas? with his left foot, his first, and Norwood has got a badly needed goal on the board, their fifth day trail, 5-10 to Torrens, 8-2. Start of the third quarter here at Football Park, the elimination final, West Torrens by 11 points. Collar Sandy and Galt at the centre bounce, Galt gets the black flip away towards Filippo. Armour in, Teal, trying to break his way through, was Turbill, but the umpire will come in and rebounce. Very little breeze, ideal conditions for football. Torrens by 11 points. Norwood 15 scoring shot to Torrens 11. Michael Taylor. Turbill. Lindsay almost runs him down. Ace makes the break, takes it well. Heads off towards goal, gives a chance now for Woodcock. Good luck. Got away from Cousins. Not sighted a great deal in the first half. Looked to be favouring the leg that he injured last week. But he's got... An opportunity now to get the red legs off to a great start in the second half from 30 metres out in front. Drop punt underway. Roger Woodcock sells and misses these. That's his first goal. And the legs off to a fine start in the second half, 6-10 to Torrens, 8-3. Good start indeed. And uh, the red legs have in fact started every quarter well. There's their most effective forward, Michael Aish. Beautiful kick towards the goal square. and. Cousins a little bit too late there on Roger Woodcock. Woodcock, a damaging player, a terrible injury during the week. Plenty of courage to even be here. Good goal, 6-10 Norwood, Torrance 8-3. Back with umpire Des Foster. Colour Sandy with the thump towards centre-half forward. Wind pushed off the ball. Coming loose ball out here, Turbill, who started this third quarter to Jenkins. Another chance for Norwood in towards goal. I think he's popped it through. And Norwood hit the front. Norwood, seven goals, ten. Lee West Torrance, eight goals, three. Two minutes into the third quarter. Amazing football. Norwood were gone in the second quarter. They were definitely gone. Players injured everywhere. Torrance looks certainly to win this game, but here they are, two minutes into the third quarter, in front. 
Turbul always starts the quarter well. Got it over to Jenkins. A beautiful goal on the run. What balance, Jenkins? 7-10 Norwood. Torrens 8-3. The Red Legs in front by a point. Jenkins has kicked his first. Torrens by a point. No, you're right, Peter. Norwood by a point. Bounce down at the centre. Colour Sandy. Norwood's starting to get a little bit of confidence going now. Turbul back with full back. Stazza as West Torrens in front by one point. Going to the outer side, ground. Collar Sandy, Galt. Collar Sandy in front, over the top. A long handball out towards Bruce Lindsay. Tries to juggle it, Turbul for Norwood in. Pulled off the ball. Michael Taylor, their captain, from the back pocket to the half-back line. Ace, Roberts, Ace in front. Punched cleverly by Roberts, unloaded by Ian Hanna. Oh, and penalised, I felt perhaps a little bit unfortunate. He used the body well. But umpire Schofield saw it differently. Ace with the kick to Gallagher. Plays on quickly. The Ward centre half forward. Woodcock, Cousins. Woodcock! Just it beautifully. Let the leap and he's lifted his game in this third quarter. Short to Thomas, who's loose and Norwood look good. Thomas in towards goal. The kick's on its way. I think he's popped it through. No, slightly offline. Minor score and Norwood. Seven goals, 11, 53. All tied away the scores. There goes Roger Woodcock and... Uh... Early in the game, you wouldn't have thought that Roger Woodcock would have finished it. He was playing terribly, but he's bounced right back into it. Looks dangerous. Back live with Wayne Primmer in the back pocket. Boots the ball to centre wing. Up high was Gallagher. Dunstan, who's been a pretty quiet player for the Red Legs, shovels it out to Thomas. But it's West Torrens. Pulled off the ball was Roberts. Crumbs to Turbul. Turbul hooks around the body towards centre half forward. Adler punched on cleverly. Coming to Michael Taylor. To the full forward pocket, Jenkins, up high, done well by Curly Minow, to centre wing, Kevin Hill on the lead, David Armour, Kevin Hill on the lead. Kevin Hill at centre wing, towards the half forward line, Jackman, Noble, up high, Ingus, in front of Jimmy Till, the centre half forward for West Thomas, for West Thomas should I say, Dirk Ingus on the half forward line. Chance to put West Torrens into attack. In towards the full forward area. Collar Sandy up one hand. Taps the ball to ground. Jackman. The handball out towards Hannah. The, the run of the ball. Dunson over the back. Pulled off the ball. Jackman. Teal. Jackman with the handball to Minot. Players using the body. And the umpire Des Foster will call for a bounce down on the half forward line for West Torrens. Yeah, no ball at centre half back uh, for Nord. Doesn't look too good. Looks like a, an ankle. And. Uh, He'd be about the fourth Nord injury so far today. Inglis and Collar Sandy. Collar Sandy towards the line and out of play. Dazanowski with the kickoff towards the centre of the ground. Michael Taylor. Danny Jenkins for spoil. Two Norwood players. That's bad football. Taylor trying to thump the ball away. But umpire Des Foster will call for a bounce down on the forward side of centre for West Torrens. Bad football. Two experienced players. Taylor was the man in front. Jenkins should have left that ball alone. Back live now, the bounce down, Collar Sandy over the top. Lindsay, the long handball out towards McSparren, taps it down to Jackman. He in turn goes to Hewitt. Hewitt to the half forward line, looking.